All right, guys, so I came across this channel and a video that I wanted to react to. Um, by the way, many of you may have seen this channel, but you haven't. The, the channel is called The Solar Lab, and they do a lot of solar and battery reviews as well. Really well done, in my opinion, from what I've seen so far. But what we're gonna be talking about today is how you can use batteries to actually pay you back, right? I know a lot of times we, we look at solar and battery backup as sort of a, a protection uh, against long-term loss of the electric grid, but with the way that utility metering policies are changing, you can actually use batteries now as a profitable investment on their own, even without solar. So in this video, we're gonna be looking at the Anchor F3800, uh, all-in-one solar and battery system, uh, as well as how you can use that system to maximize your payback with peak load shifting. So let's get into the video. The smarter way to go solar. The biggest problem with portable power stations is that they're expensive. There's something that we believe everyone should have, yet not everybody does because the cost of entry is kind of high. So in purchasing one of these, most people are focused on the cost, how much they have to save up, and then how much they actually have to spend to get it. But what if I told you that there's a way you can actually use your portable power station to earn you money? Saying that makes me sound like a social media guru who's trying to get you involved in some sort of Ponzi scheme, but it's actually true. So today we're gonna break down for you guys how if you're already in the market for a unit like this Anchor F3800, spending a little bit of extra money up front to get something like this, anchor home power panel might actually be a really smart move to help you justify the cost. So welcome back to the lab guys. Today we're going to be talking about a relatively new solution that we think actually makes units like this F3800 more accessible. You might already be in the market for a unit like this for portable power, emergency backup, but these two things together can actually help you shave a nice chunk of change off your electricity bill. If you're not already familiar with either of these products, the Anchor F3800 is a relatively new portable power station. This thing has a 3800 watt hour battery. It has a 6000 watt inverter. It can do 120 or 240 volts directly out of the unit. It has up to 2400 watts of solar input if you use Anchor panels. And it has some great surge capabilities and overall functionality. We've put it through tons of testing here at the lab and we've been generally really, really impressed with this unit. And this guy is the Anchor home power panel. This is designed to go between the main panel Panel in your house and a sub panel. This allows you to integrate the F3800 with your utility grid and solar power. In comparison to using just like a manual transfer switch, this guy allows you to pair two F3800s together, which doubles your inverter up to 12 kilowatts. And it has a 20 millisecond switch over time versus a manual transfer switch having to actually physically go and turn it on. Yeah, no, I think that's important too, having that parallel connection built into the power panel because in order to get the full benefit of this for electric bill savings or for self-consumption, you're gonna wanna have enough power on your battery system that it can carry the heaviest loads in the house, the largest energy consumers, which for most of you is going to be your HVAC, your, your air conditioning compressors. So a single 6,000 watt unit is not gonna be enough to run some of the largest four and five ton air conditioning units. So having that dual, dual inverter or dual battery parallel capability should allow you uh, to run those uh, larger air conditioning loads and therefore be able to uh, self-consume solar and battery power for those loads, i.e. not having to purchase any electricity from the power company to service those items. Let's continue. So you won't even notice the power go out if you have this thing set up properly. It integrates really seamlessly into Anchor's ecosystem. You can access it from the app and change and control a bunch of settings from there. And it also allows you to take advantage of off-peak rates, which is what we're mainly gonna be focusing on today. Most people buy portable power stations and charge them up and then they just leave them sitting around in a closet waiting for the power to go out. What they don't realize is that every day that goes by, they could be using that power station to actually save them some money on their electricity bill. And this is called peak shaving. Peak shaving in its most basic format is basically just taking the low cost of the utility during the nighttime, which is typically about half of it during peak hours, charging your power station with the low cost. And then during the peak hours of the day, when the electricity is at its most expensive point, you use the power from your power station instead of your power from the grid, which you previously filled when the electricity was at its lowest point. Exactly, this is very well explained by the way, especially for a novice viewer, I think it does a very good job of breaking this point down very, very clearly. Now, the reason why this is even part of the discussion right now is because many of the utilities, particularly in, in places like California and Arizona and Texas, many of the utilities are going away from a simple flat retail price per kilowatt hour 
regardless of whatever hour of the day uh, you, you consume that power, they're moving to more of a time of use metering. So if you're consuming electricity during peak demand hours, which tends to be late afternoon, early evening, when your air conditioning and your, your cooking loads are, are working the hardest, you're gonna pay a higher rate of electricity during those peak rate hours. It's, it's, it's simple supply and demand. During the times when more electricity is being demanded of the grid, they're gonna charge you a higher price to consume. After midnight or in the middle of the night, when the demand is lowest, they charge you a lower rate. And so because of that, there's this opportunity now for arbitrage where if you can, let's say, consume from your battery during peak hours, so avoid buying anything during those hours, only do your buying from the power company on off peak hours, which tends to be in the middle of the night when the load or when the demand on the grid is least, then you can take advantage of that delta. And that's what he's gonna explain here. Let, let's go back to the video. So you're shaving that difference between the peak and the off peak hours off of your bill, basically bringing your your electricity bill to always off peak pricing. And so how the home power panel does this is you can go on the app and you can actually set time of use rules. So you can tell the home power panel at what time to accept AC power uh, to charge the F3800 and at what time to accept the F3800 to then deplete its battery and power basically anything that you have on your sub panel. And so you can pretty much hands off schedule this home power panel and your F3800 to hopefully come really, really close to shaving all of the peak hours off of your bill and having it only be off peak hour rates. Now, of course, the other part of this equation is if you have solar tied in with your battery system, you could have it to where it's it's never pulling from the grid to charge the battery. You just wait till the next day where the solar panels can recharge the battery. And hopefully, especially if you're doing a self-directed solar and battery installation, you're probably going to get a much cheaper price from your own solar generated electricity than even if you had to buy from the utility on off peak hours. Uh, I know that part of the, the message he's trying to get out here is that, hey, look, just a battery by itself can save you money. But if you're gonna go through all the trouble, I would say hook some solar capacity to it as well. Uh, in that case, you can really use the utility company as the power provider of last resort only. Well, let's go back to the presentation. And obviously everyone has different rates. Where we live, they're actually not that bad but depending on where you live, this solution could actually save you a ton of money. So to make this make a little more sense for everybody, I'm gonna show you guys an example. For this example, we're using the San Diego SDGE pricing that we were given from one of you guys. So how accurate that is, is on them. From what we know, the peak rate in San Diego is about 50 cents per kilowatt hour, and the off-peak rate is about 28 cents. So super simple example. If you had the F3800 with one expansion battery, which is, a pretty relative normal size that you would get for home backup, you would have roughly 7.6 kilowatt hours of storage. If you were to use 7.6 kilowatts of power, maybe running your oven, your microwave, doing some dishes, during the on-peak hours, that 7.6 kilowatts would cost you $3.80. If you ran those same exact 7.6 kilowatts during the night or during the off-peak hours, it would only cost you $2.13. So you'd actually save about $1.67 by just using that small amount of electricity at a different time of day. So if you told the home power panel to charge the F3800 during the nighttime when the electricity is 28 cents, and then during the peak hours of the day when the electricity is 50 cents, you told the home power panel to then disperse that power out of your F3800 it would be dispersing power that you paid 28 cents for instead of you paying 50 cents to access that same power at that same time, which basically just shaves off 44% of the cost of that on peak electricity rate. And that might not seem like a big number, but over the course of a month, that's $50. And over the course of a year, that's $610 with just one F3800 an expansion battery, and of course, your home power panel. All right, now just one quick technical note here, guys. As most of you know who've been following the channel for a while, you're never gonna get a 100% round trip efficiency out of the battery. So the, the simple math and the example that he's showing here, uh, in concept, it, it's right, but 
you're never gonna get 100% of the energy out of the battery that you charge into the battery. There's always a little bit of conversion loss. Um, and a lot of it shows up as heat. You might even feel, feel some warmth coming off the battery when your battery is being charged or when it's being discharged. That warmth or that heat is energy that's being lost in the conversion process. So I would say best case scenario, you're gonna get about 95% of the energy that you put into that battery when it comes time to pull it back out. Other batteries are less efficient, but I would say, you know, 90, 95% uh, is, is about what you can expect in terms of round trip efficiency. Let, let's finish out. Now what's really cool is this home power panel, as of the time we're filming this video, is about $1,200. So if you were to save $610, you can actually pay this thing off within two years. And after you've paid it off, you're basically just earning money from that point. You were already gonna invest in the F3800 in the expansion battery, so anything else is just gravy. And obviously the F3800 has a solar input, so if you were to do this with panels and just use one F3800 with an expansion battery, you would actually save up almost $1,400 because you wouldn't have to pay to charge it during the night. And like we said, the more you expand, the more batteries that you actually add to your system, the quicker you're gonna pay this off. So if you were to have two F3800s with two expansion batteries, you would have a total of 15.3 kilowatt hours roughly. If you were to do the same thing, charge that 15.3 kilowatt hours during the off peak hours, 28 cents, and disperse it during the peak hours when the electricity rate is 50 cents, you're gonna actually save $3.38 a day, which becomes $102.73 a month which becomes $1,232.73 a year. So at that rate, if you were already gonna buy two F3800s, two expansion batteries, you earn back the value of what you paid for this within one year. You now have seamless, uninterrupted backup power. You can access everything. There's a, a huge list of pros that comes with this home power panel. And you just got all of that basically free. Yeah, I mean, the guy makes some excellent points here, especially for markets like San Diego, where there's such a pronounced difference between the on-peak and the off-peak rate. I mean, where I live here in South Carolina, we're still spoiled. We have cheap power, 12, 13 cents per kilowatt hour, regardless of what, what hour of the day we consume it. But in markets like San Diego, uh, Northern California, where you're seeing rates in the 40, 50 cents per kilowatt hour, uh, and, and, and huge deltas between the on-peak and the off-peak rates, I think this just makes sense. But frankly, guys, you know, I, I've always been one of these guys that says, look, this is about being energy independent. It's not that buying batteries is, is this great investment, but if you run the numbers, especially in markets that have high electric rates, there is a considerable financial return on investment here on top of the, the security and the peace of mind that you get of never being without power within your home. So at the end of the day, the savings on a F3800 with an expansion battery and the home power panel don't blow your socks off. They don't knock anybody off their chair. But if you're already spending money on a power station with an expansion battery or even just a power station, the additional cost to get the home power panel is actually, in our opinion, very valuable. It pays itself off relatively quick. It actually integrates with your home really, really nicely. And now you're gonna be able to do a ton more and a lot more reliably because you have the home power panel. And just a lot of people don't, simply just don't understand the benefits of something like the home power panel or understand at all what peak shaving even is. All right guys, so that pretty much wraps it up for today's reaction video. Again, we're talking about how you can use an all-in-one solar or battery system to actually pay you back by doing peak load shifting. Uh, hey, by the way guys, if you enjoy these reaction videos, go ahead and post a comment below, uh, especially if you have other videos or other channels that you've been following the content and you'd like to get solar surges, you wanna you want get Joe's take on it, uh, go ahead and post a comment with a link to the video down below and we'll work on getting that back out to you. Uh, of course, if you're in the process of looking at different solar and battery storage options for your home, um, if you need to get a price quote, whether it's for a, a pro install or if you're looking for a system like this, an all-in-one system that you can purchase off the shelf and do most of the installation yourself, uh, as always, feel free to reach out to us on the link below there. It'll take you to the Solar Surge website where you can either set up a call with a solar expert uh, or just shop on the Solar Surge store where we've got a number of the leading all-in-one solar and battery systems available. Well, that pretty much does it for today's video. Uh, as always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. All right, I hope you're getting some great value from today's video content. 
Now, if you would like to have your business or product or technology featured on the Solar Surge channel, we can help you do that. Feel free to use the link below to set up a call with our media team so that we can discuss your marketing goals and how Solar Surge can help you get there. Solar Surge is the leading online community in the U.S. residential solar and energy storage space. And so if you would like to have your business or product or technology introduced to our audience, we can help you do that. Uh, again, feel free to reach out to us on the link below to set up a call with our media team or email media at solarsurge.net.